Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. Today I am so thrilled to get to share with you the third installment on Sophia's World Music Tour. This is an amazing new subscription subscription run by an amazing young woman. She has three different subscription tiers that will let you travel around the world through music. There is the well-named general admission, which is pretty much just the music downloads, and that is $29.99. She also has the book bag, which will include some of the items in this box that are about travel, as well as the featured destination for that month, and that is $59.99. And then there is the full suitcase, which I highly suggest, and was what I have to share with you today and that is $130. It includes all of the amazing travel and destination items that are in this box that is bursting at the seams as well as a really really cool VIP interactive experience with the artist from that destination for the month where they often have a little cultural experience for you. They do a concert basically that you can enjoy from the comfort of your own home and I know that seems a little bit pricey $130 but think of how much you would spend to go to a concert and how many of your family members you would actually have to leave at home. This way you can enjoy it with your entire family, in your jammies, with your snacks, and I just think it is so, so amazing to get to know some of these artists, to get to actually ask them questions and hear from them. It feels like they're in your own home, which I think is so awesome. One of the things that's really, really cool about this is that 10% of the proceeds do go towards that artist, and I think that is so important to remember that these artists have been so affected by the pandemic not being able to travel around the world and share their music and share their passion with all of us and it's been hard for us too as audience members so I think this subscription box is definitely something that we are all in need of and so does the Boston Glow which featured this box recently so hopefully that gets it a little bit more attention and hopefully you are able to join us at some of the future destinations. I did get a sneak peek at where else we are traveling for the rest of the year and it is going to be awesome you guys. If you're interested in subscribing you can use the code Noel and that will actually save you 20% on up to three renewals. So really good deal right there. But let's go ahead and get into the box because like I said it is always chock full of stuff and I always have a hard time fitting everything into one photo. I have a hard time fitting everything into these 20 minute videos. She even included a little birthday bundle for for my husband knowing that it was his birthday this month so I don't have time for that but I it is so appreciated she's the sweetest human so look at the presentation you guys always so so gorgeous so many things right off the bat everything is always customized it has your name on it everything's kind of stylized like a boarding pass for the whole experience she even does like a really cool wax seal. And then there's always this cute little like bundle decorating everything. So I've got my boarding pass here. It tells us that we are going to China this month, which is super cool. And there's always a really fun keychain. Um, and this one is a really sparkly panda. So of course that is so appropriate for China and I'm so excited about it. I have had the opportunity to visit China, but I didn't get to see any of the pandas because at the time I was very spoiled living in San Diego where we had some pandas on loan from China for many years. They they took the, the pandas back though so I'm gonna have to plan another visit so I, they, I can see them again. So I'm gonna have to unfortunately undo all of this and I don't know like I don't know if she knows how she manages to fit everything in there every single time. So we have got our nice booklet that tells us so much about the country that we are visiting. On the inside, it is really very much a virtual tour because she always includes a bunch of QR codes so that you can really experience it, um, it from the comfort of your own home again and the best that we can these days with all of our travel sort of put on pause. It says, uh, Ni hao travelers, welcome to China. I'm excited for this month because it's the first country on my playlist tour I've actually been to. I personally think China is a slept on tourist destination because as soon as you get off 
left the plane you are in awe. My uncle has lived in Hong Kong for the last 10 years and when I went I completely understood why. It's beautiful to see a city that is so in the future, I call it the Matrix, but continues to honor its ancient past. If you would like to hear more about my time there you can check out Instagram for the box. I've been sharing pics and stories during this month um, and then it also tells us a little bit about the featured artist which is Blythe Schultz and she is a supporter of the box since its creation. She actually does unboxing videos of it as well and I'm really really excited to tune in and hear some of her music and then we have a table of contents which is really nice because you guys this is a pretty lengthy pamphlet so I won't spend too much time on it but she does kind of tell us like some information that you would want to look up anyway on your own about traveling to China for example like having to get a visa etc etc uh, she tells us a little bit um, some some stuff from Blythe some basic Mandarin phrases which is cool there's some QR codes to learn a little bit more about the food because you guys Chinese food is not Panda Express right um, and we have some information about Hong Bao which is the little red envelopes which you give usually with money for um, the new year uh, China's great pandas pandas are just so cute uh, the importance of chopsticks in Chinese culture even a little tutorial on how to use the chopsticks um, a little bit about one of the items that is definitely going to be in the box which I'm really excited about and then let me see my pages are sticking together there's some information about Blythe who is gorgeous and uh, let's see some local suggestions if you do get the chance to visit China is huge though you could spend months in China and still not see all of it and it's very like different in every region um, the food is different the climate is different uh, it does tell us a little bit about uh, the district in Beijing and there is even a China word search so I do think this is definitely a box that you could enjoy with your family and then we also have our passport and the passport is where she kind of simplifies things for someone like me to do an unboxing so it just tells us all of the products in the box so I'm gonna kind of keep this in front of me there is the destination items and then there's like the artist items and then a couple of other fun things so let's get into it like I said it's always hard to get through everything so we have uh, the China playlist which is something that would be included in the obviously general admission and book bags as well we have our, oh, this is so cool, our certificate of adoption because she worked with the World uh, Wildlife Federation Foundation. And um, it's a certificate of adoption. It says this certificate acknowledges that a symbolic adoption of a giant panda has made with a generous contribution to the World Wildlife Fund to protect species and their habitats. That's what the F stands for, fun. That is so cool. I love that. We adopted a panda. And then here are some of our hongbao, which again is those red envelopes. I don't know if there's anything in it or if this is for us to sort of pass the love on oh look wow you guys they actually included some Chinese money in here and I think I actually read in the pamphlet there briefly that uh one of her family members or friends kind of hooked us up with that so there it is pretty cool I think I actually have some in my like currency box that I that I do hold on to all the time from my trips abroad which again have been put on hold and is very sad to me Oh my gosh, you guys, we're never going to get through all of this stuff. So I won't be able to read too much about the descriptions. She doesn't include the um, the retail values anyway, but we're just going to have to see if we can dive in and see all of the amazing stuff. So this is super cool. So we have a hand-washing countdown timer, which is super cute, right? Because they tell you all those different songs that you can sing to yourself to make sure that you're washing your hands for the amount of time. But now you also have a timer. We have got a beautiful fan, I am guessing. So let me go ahead and open this up. And of course, you guys, if I don't get to show you anything in much detail, I will do my best to show you over on Instagram where this is one of the most challenging boxes for me to photograph because it, I can never get everything into one shot. So it is this beautiful blue fan, which I'm trying to open it up without breaking the band, but I failed. So here it is, super pretty. I love this and I love that it's just the blue and the white kind of keeps it nice and simple not too crazy and you know fans are a great thing to have when you are traveling all right I'm I'm just having to dive in here so we got some Chinese chopsticks I don't know what makes them Chinese versus like any other like Asian culture but it came in this really cute red box with a cute little panda on it <gasps> Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I love, look you guys, look at the little chopstick rests. They're little pandas, which I just think is so, so cute. And there's even like um, little like wood burned pandas on the handles. I actually love this. Um, uh, these actually seem like they might be pretty grippy because they are wood. Sometimes they're really slick lacquer ones. Like I have a hard time with them because I honestly do not use my chopsticks correctly. I've tried and I just have my own like version of chopstick use, which is a little 
embarrassing. So I'm sometimes one of those people who will use the fork because I know I'm going to get chided by Chinese people and how I use my chopsticks. Um, so here is something else. Like I said, we're just going to go in whatever order we can go in. So this I think is maybe a beautiful bookmark again with pandas. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm not sure what this is, but look, you guys, look at the pandas. I think it's a bookmark with like a tassel. That's so pretty. Oh, I love this. I'm going to have to like look on the list and see what it is, but I think that it is a panda bookmark and it came in this very regiftable little box too, but I'm not sharing that with anyone. Um, let's see. It looks like we got some like fancy washi tape or something. So it's kind of got like some almost like anime, but obviously the Chinese variation of it. Like it looks like washi tape. I think that's what it is. I'll have to put that off to the side. We can always come back to things if we have time. Ooh, we got some rice candy. Love rice candy. Grew up eating that in Hawaii because obviously we have a lot of Asian culture influence there. So let's see what else we have got. I've got, ooh, I've got something that involves a cord and a Bluetooth manual. So I'm going to put that off to the side. So hopefully I find it. Um, something, oh, we got a little like tin. This is cool. Opening it up carefully and then inside of the lid there was like another little lid. Oh, it's for tea This is neat. So we got these little like balls of tea. I think I'm not sure what those are We have some white tea. Let's see white tea in a little bag and then I'm not sure how you use these Maybe hmm. I don't know you guys you guys are gonna have to tell me because this isn't like the actual infuser I think this is just like the container. So let's see it says Chinese white tea So maybe there's two different ones and then it just came in this adorable little like tin So it's a great tea tin to have You guys are gonna have to tell me. Oh, this is cool. We got a little like a zipper but like velvet uh, box I've never seen a velvet box Oh my gosh, it's like a little travel jewelry case, which again, I've never seen it in velvet, but look what is inside you guys. There is a jade ring. I think jade is gorgeous. Um, I had a lot of fun picking out the jade that I decided to purchase for myself when I was there in China, um, but you can always have a little bit more. It's got some like diamonds on the sides, not real diamonds, but just enough to give it a little extra bling. So super into that. Hopefully it fits my finger. Ooh, that is fun. You guys know green is my color for the year, so the jade is appropriate. I think it actually has to go on the middle finger. All right, here is the thing that is that goes with that, that cord that I saw. So I think we got a little Bluetooth speaker, which is so cool. She's always got like the coolest like travel tech gadgets for us. Like we had a Bluetooth water bottle. We got a really great selfie stick last time. And this one is neat because it's kind of got like an animal print to it. So let me just double check and see if this is on here. It says... I don't see it. Uh, oh yeah, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So how cool is that? Awesome. Let's see. Okay, we have some bubble wrapped items. We also have a bunch of shreds. So I'm trying to keep that out of the way so that we can get into it. So bubble wrapped item looks like a mug. I'm thinking it's a mug to go along with our Chinese white tea. Wow, look at this. So very authentic looking. We've got this like sort of dragon image there. And then I love like the detail here on the handle. How cool is that? And I actually really like that it's like white and like blue and kind of gold. This is really neat. We've gotten some really cool mugs from this subscription as well. And of course, right now, you guys, I'm running out of space on my, my little desk here. And I feel like we're probably not even halfway through this box, which again, if you're ever wondering, like, is it worth my money? Not only do you get a concert in your own living room or at your own desk, you also get all of these amazing items. So it actually comes with a really cool little lid and look, it's even got like a little dragon on the top, I'm assuming. Wow, look at that. That is so neat. So Sorry for the ring light. There we go. I'll definitely take some photos for you over on Instagram, but this is so great. I love mugs that have lids so they keep your drink nice and warm for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish I could hold the box up, but everything would fall out. There's so much more to go. Um, look at this. We have something that is actually branded Sophia's World Music Tour Playlist Travel Through Music, and it looks like it's a little case for something, something here. 
Okay, wow, this is awesome. It's chargers, you guys. This is so important to have, and I love that it comes in its own little case. We've got the cables for a bunch of different ends. We've got the USB, we've got like definitely phone chargers, and then of course this goes into the wall, and I like that it's a nice flat one instead of one of those cubes that's kind of like not super easy to just carry in a pocket. Um, this is awesome. This is a great travel item. I've been really impressed with all the travel items that she has included, and I don't know how she's gonna keep it up, but um, the, for that alone, it is worth it. Ooh, look at, I got something to match my ring. These are actually really pretty. Now you guys know I'm not gonna wear the studs because studs, but the uh, necklace in this like pear shape is really, really pretty. So nice, I can't believe we got a whole jewelry set with earrings and a necklace. Um, that is amazing. And again, it comes in a cute little box. So I am very glad that she has lots of friends and Blythe to help her put this box together because I'm gonna say it right now, I think this is the best box that we have gotten so far. Like it seems so thoughtful. And again, we just got so much stuff. So I'm trying to find my little, um, I'm trying to find my little, um, cloth so that I can wipe this off but basically we got a journal and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because I want you to see how pretty it is and of course red is very auspicious it's also one of my favorite colors I love this journal though look it's got like cranes on it that is really pretty a great thing to have with you when you are traveling so oh look even the even the pages you guys have a design along the edge that is so neat and then inside there's even like patterns designs along the bottom of the pages what a great Great travel journal to take with you there are like there's lots of different ones on different pages amazing so, oh it's a the magnetic closure even even better all right so, so still more stuff you guys unbelievable another oh this is really like I love all these little boxes and containers it makes the experience that much more fun like I said you could definitely share we got a bunch of candies and you guys those white rabbit candies another thing that I totally grew up eating and um, love they've got like the little paper going around Oh my gosh, these are so good. I'm hopefully gonna not eat them all before I take pictures, but um, I'll probably eat a couple of them. I'll probably like allow myself to eat a couple of them and be like, oops, I have one left. Um, ooh, we got little panda crackers, little cookie crackers. crackers. Those are really good too. Uh, these are amazing. If you've never had these, these Meiji Cream Center Crunchy Shell panda cookies they are also awesome i love them yay i'm so excited about all these treats you guys and then i think we are finally down to our vip experience maybe maybe hopefully because i've got i'm running out of time we've got some beautiful pencils to go along with that journal and then still more stuff you guys there is another china like notebook so she has these in every box so far these like travel journals so they're all they've been like the other ones were two two one size the other two were one size this one's a little bit bigger but how pretty is that and then it's just got lined pages and it actually has the pages numbered so that when you actually get to go to china you can actually um keep track of everything then we have oh we got like a uh, little like kind of anime style fun magazine little extra bonus there oh i'm gonna drop something right here hopefully i can pull that back up on on my desk before it makes a huge mess and then we also got our uh next destination information that's always fun a little ticket and then she does always include um we have another um hangbao we have another little one oh i think this one has coins in it so yeah Yep, this one has like, I think coins in it. And then she also always includes some postcards from the destination as well, which I think is kind of a cool thing, right? Something that you would definitely pick up on your own if you were traveling to send home to someone. You could really feel like you're actually sending some treats to someone uh, because you are traveling there through this journey. So they always put the little VIP sort of artist experience in this adorable little suitcase. It always has a luggage tag and then inside, she has this really cool cassette which is almost always has an image actually of the artist on it and so that's just a USB so you can listen to the music there is an awesome note from the musician the artist as well from Blythe and then we have this sort of like 
ticket like you are going to a concert and of course that has the QR code that tells you about everything. Uh, you get to listen to her music as well as the China playlist that does feature other artists as well. And then we even have this little like post-it pad that has the playlist. So I am so looking forward to tuning in, listening to Blythe, learning a little bit more about China. She always records that VIP experience as well just in case you can't tune in to the live experience. You guys, this was an amazing box. I pretty much didn't do it justice just because there was so much to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try Sophia's World Music Tour, World Music Playlist box. It is so different from everything that's out there. It is a fantastic way to travel right now when we really can't. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing or maybe in Blythe's concert that's coming up. See you soon.